All right, I'm going to install the valve bridges. If you look, there's an oval slot on one side and a regular slot. The divot goes away from the injector hole. So before I put these on, I'm going to lube it. A little there, a little there. Do the same on this one. Don't put anything together dry. Do the same for all four. I numbered these one in exhaust, one intake, two exhaust, one in, or two intake, so on and so forth. But if you line up the exhaust ports, those line up. If you line up the intake ports, it's not as easy to see, but it's there. If all the exhaust ports, it's a lot easier to see. Another thing to notice, see how there's an oval slot here and here. So on this one, and there's a lot of different opinions on how to do this, but the, the round one goes here and the oval one goes here. The round one goes here and the oval one goes here. Essentially what that's made for is so that when the exhaust rocker pushes on that, it allows the valves to slide a little bit. All right, there's these little buttons, look like this, that go on each one of these. And I've marked each one, how I took them off, because I'm using the same cam, same rockers, all that stuff. The main reason you want to do that is so that when you go back together, the wear patterns remain the same. So if you full a cam, you want to mark which push rods came out of which hole, which valve bridges came off which hole. And by the way, these are called floating bridges. If they weren't, essentially what they'd have is they'd have a shaft uh, deal in the center and a pin right here which guides how the bridges go up and down. So you always want to make sure what you've got. If you have the, the non-floating bridges like that, if a valve were to stick, or if one of the pins were to get bent, what would happen is it pushed the, the valves down and would hold the valve down and you'd bend both valves. Uh, these are floating bridges, so it don't matter. So there I lubricated that. Same thing here, lubricate that one. We'll lubricate that one and here comes the push tubes there's our push tubes first thing I do is I roll these across a bench to make sure they're straight and I'll show that in just a minute but this is number one exhaust because I marked it what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of oil or louverflate on it and then what I'm going to do it's hard to see, but what I'm doing is I'm feeling this. And when I push it down in there, I can pull the lifter up and down in the bore. That tells me that things are nice and free. You create like a hydraulic suction on that. 